Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shivatan Kamani, an integration technical architect. Whenever we design an APA, we tend to make this APA more configurable where uh, we can bring a lot of dynamism so that uh, same APA works for different values so that uh, uh, the changes can be done dynamically in the uh, runtime console and make changes and then restart the application so that uh, API works for any given configuration values. In this video, we are going to see such tips and tricks, both uh, property configuration as well as in data view, about how we can uh, uh, use these uh, uh, configurations and then effectively uh, traverse them in data view and then use it in uh, different uh, occasions. Let's get started. So let's consider some use cases where uh, you want to configure uh, uh, some tricky situations. So uh, number one, you want to configure a single value where there is no uh, tips or tricks involved. Uh, but uh, we will be configuring a list of values and then see how we are going to play around this list of values. And also sometimes it's very tricky to configure a map of uh, key value pairs and dynamically configure it uh, and then utilize it in the data view. And uh, the fourth and fifth point uh, details about how we can traverse those list and map uh, within the data view. And I mean, these list and map go together because uh, the map contains key value pairs. The list contains only keys where you want to refer the values in map based on the list configured. So this is what we are going to have because I have seen uh, many uh, real-time scenarios and situations uh, and use cases where this come handy because otherwise this will become uh, hard coded uh, and lying in somewhere in the code where you might need a code change, testing, deployment in order to make this uh, uh, small and tiny changes. So by moving all this into the configuration where uh, individual values, list of values and map of key value pairs, you can make your life easy in API and a uh, lot of changes can be avoided by configurations. Let's get into the demo. So we are going to investigate uh, uh, what it takes to traverse this uh, key value pair on the list. So I have created a mule4 flow and uh, this is a flow which contains uh, variable settings and a couple of uh, transformations which we are going to see how we are going to do that. And before that uh, the, the key point which I would like to help others is uh, by making this configuration or the way in which we need to configure. So we are going to have a simple comma separated value. Uh, which we are going to use uh, um, as a list and uh, then we are going to have a map where we are going to have some uh, uh, expression kind of values here where we are uh, uh, packaging the entire list and then storing it into the property which we can take it so I can put it in the notepad uh, so that you can visualize it better so this is the property city dot list where we have the city name San Francisco and Chennai separated by comma and we have a map which is a key value pair configured which is which looks like json and uh, so we here we have a city dot country dot map so we have a city and a country name as a key value pair which is packaged in uh, a hash uh, colon which is an expression hash uh, open bracket and inside it we have an, a list with the key value pair so which can be automatically taken as a map. So this is a simple configuration and we will get into this uh, flow. So we have a HTTP listener that starts this uh, flow and we will see how to extract those uh, configuration properties which are critical. So here we have uh, a city country map entries. So this is a map entries where we are going to have a key value pair and I am loading this uh, map properties as is without doing any fancy transformation so automatically it loads it as map and next uh, we are going to retrieve a query parameter uh, which i can show it here so we have uh, a query parameter called a city where we are giving some values so this is given for the demonstration purpose to check if the given city is available as a part of the configured list because we want to demo on how to refer uh, the individual value uh, to be uh, compared against the list. That's why I have made this scenario. 
So that's what we are going to do. We are going to check if this city is available or present in the list of uh, values that are configured under city.list. That's what we are going to do here. So we, I have taken the a query parameter from the attributes. And uh, finally, we have a uh, transformation where uh, I would like to show how the city list is taken. So um, here I am using uh, the string utilities provided by a Spring Framework. It's a simple uh, dependency you can add and you can use delimited list string. Uh, I mean de delimited list to string array. So it can uh, uh, retrieve this property. You can see here uh, uh, P of the property name you can given, give here. So city.list is a property that I have configured here, which is uh, San Francisco and Chennai. And uh, that's what, uh, I mean, oh, sorry about that. And uh, this is what is uh, taken. So once again, let me repeat. So uh, we are using the Java feature in the data weave and uh, uh, importing this particular uh, uh, string utils package. This string utils package is available in uh, spring framework dependency, which you can add it, which I'm going to show it to you now. And, uh, and this is, this is to be stored in the city list uh, variable. And so we are giving the value as such. So this is, uh, I mean, delimited list to string array is a method of uh, string utils uh, package. So as a naming convention, you have to give the package colon colon method. And inside which you are giving the string, instead of giving a hard coded string, we are taking it dynamically from the properties with the name city.list. So it automatically takes this list of uh, cities and then converts it into the, oh, again, it's changed. Again, it's converted to the uh, list and stored into the variable called uh, city list. So hope uh, you can understand this easily. Only explaining this makes difficult. And uh, finally, we have a, a, a map. So this is what gets tricky. And uh, so we have a, a list available, so which we have taken uh, from the configured property and we are iterating it. And we take position and we take a, a key as a, a dollar, as you all know. So it takes uh, individual values retrieved from city list uh, values. And uh, here is what is the tricky uh, stuff, which you need to retrieve uh, the corresponding um, entry from the uh, key value pair. So uh, what we are trying to do is, uh, so we are going to retrieve uh, San Francisco and we are going to find out which country the San Francisco belongs to. So always uh, in a, when you are retrieving some values from the system or Salesforce, uh, uh, more often you will be able to or you should be able to check uh, if the given entry is available in the key value map. So that's what we are trying to check. So what we are uh, going to do is here, we are iterating the list. Each entry is taken and for whichever selected entry, which is dollar, we are taking the map and uh, so we are selecting the content uh, not based on the index but based on the key value. So key value is the value key which is taken based on the dollar symbol um, and we are converting it as a string. So uh, always it's available in position number zero in order to refer the value. So that's why we have given here. And next is input city is what we have taken from the query parameter. And we are checking if uh, this is the tricky stuff. I mean, you, you want to check if the given single value is available in the list of comma separated values. So we are checking if vars dot city dot list contains city. So uh, contains is a simple function uh, to check if the given string is available uh, in the list. So if so, we are checking uh, to yes. And if it is not available, we are assigning no. It's a simple if else. So this is the part that you want to focus uh, on how we are handling the list and how we are handling the individual value. So uh, I have uh, uh, made it running in the debug mode. So let me debug and then show it to you on how it works. So I'm triggering this uh, again. So it's uh, uh, 
asking me if uh, you want to change it to the debug perspective i'm saying yes so we need to investigate how because in order to understand the uh, way in which it works you need to uh, run it in debug mode and uh, uh, put the breakpoint and then see how the values are uh, retrieved so i want to show these three values individual value list and the map you can see here the individual value is coming from this uh, query parameter city and uh, this can come from query parameter or any property or from salesforce or anywhere and the list you can see the list value there are two uh, entries in the list it can see the size is two and the first one is san francisco and the next one is chennai this is the uh, list of values that we have uh, uh, taken from this properties you can see it's coming as a list so again let me show you on the debug mode it's coming as a list you can see here it's it's an array of uh, values in position number 0 contains san francisco position number 1 contains chennai so this is about the list and then we want to see the map so map entries are taken separately as a key value entries in uh, uh, four different indices 0 1 2 3 and then you can see here it's uh, organized as a key value pair so that's what we are going to do here in this uh, uh, data b where we have uh, um, re we are retrieving the single entry from the map by means of a, a value, uh, I mean by means of a string value. So this string will act as a key and the position 0 indicates its corresponding value. So let us complete this execution. Let's go to the debug mode and let's complete this execution uh, result. So for the first value San Francisco, this is a position, position value is 0, key value is San Francisco and the corresponding country is USA. And the next value is Chennai, its position is 1 and we are uh, uh, making a lookup into the map based on the key Chennai and the corresponding country value is India because this is what we have configured here. So this is, uh, I mean Chennai is input and it's uh, act like a lookup value but the resultant value is coming here so that's what we see here as in India and the input city is a, a query parameter that we retrieved from attributes and we are checking exists which means this uh, question is available as one of the list you can see here directly the question is not available it's neither San Francisco nor Chennai so let's do this again let's put uh, uh, Chennai here and then we should get yes so let me complete this debug mode and you can see here Chennai is available and then we get yes so uh, this technique is for uh, a scenario where you want to configure those list and map directly in the configuration properties and we have also seen there is there are other ways where we can configure which I have explained in one of the previous video where if you want to have a multiple list, multiple key value pair, what you can do is uh, you can introduce one configuration JSON file and you can load into the resources folder and you can load this entire JSON as a, a full set into a variable and you can play around. So you can, uh, if you get time, you can please refer to my previous video which I will put the link in the description below. So these two combined together will help a lot uh, in order to make these configurations for uh, uh, any scenarios uh, or any possibilities. So that's it in this video. Uh, if you felt uh, the narration is uh, very complex, uh, you can simply make use of this uh, configuration XML in the, uh, as a link in the description below which you can refer easily and then, then, then you can use it because uh, I, I wanted to uh, explain how internally it works and how the list and maps are uh, represented internally in uh, mule 4 and then i wanted to give a demo so which which might look complex but feel free to come back to me in case you have any doubts or clarifications uh, i'll be happy to explain and uh, help you wherever needed thanks for watching this video and hope uh, uh, this video helps you and you got benefited out of this and feel free to share your comments below in the description and i'll be happy to come up with uh, more interesting topics soon again thanks for watching bye